Good morning, church. In Exodus chapter 33, verse 13, Moses said, Therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, let me know your ways, that I may know you, so that I may find favor in your sight. This is Moses' prayer, his deep desire to know God in a deeper way. If it was possible for me to meet Moses, travel back in time and meet him, I would have asked him, Moses, what more could you want? You are the man who talked with God at the burning bush. You saw God do mighty miracles in Egypt. You saw him part the Red Sea. You saw manna and water from the rock. You saw God's glory up in the mountain when, when you ate and drank in God's presence. You spent 40 days in the mountain. You met God personally and received the Ten Commandments from Him. God often spoke to you face to face at the tent of, of meeting. Isn't that enough, Moses? And Moses would reply, no, I want to see the glory in a deeper way. Now, fast forward 1400 years after Moses, approximately 1400 years, there was a man who was in prison and he said that I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and I want to share his sufferings and become like him in death. This man was Apostle Paul and this verse is from Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Paul is in prison. He is in the later years of his life. He has spent years and years serving Christ and uh, he was one of the greatest, most influential Christian who planted so many churches. So we would have, uh, if we would have met Paul, we would have asked him, you traveled thousands of kilometers, Paul. You went on several mission trips. You planted so many churches. You trained so many people. You trained church leaders, pastors. You wrote some of the best letters, some of the most theologically rich doctrines you expounded you explained it so well the grace of god that you explained in your letter is is there is no comparison to it you must be knowing christ so well why would you want to know christ more at this stage if if paul who thought about christ so deeply who was led by the holy spirit for uh, for decades and then in prison his first priority is he wanted to know more about Jesus. If God spoke to me in a bush, that would be like something I will boast about for the rest of my life. I would have traveled the world. I would have spoken about it and I would have uh, thinking about uh, knowing more about God would have been the last thing that I would have had in my list. And here Moses and Paul, two great men of God, and they want to know deeper things of God because they knew one thing. And this is, this is a common thing among all the people who we see in the Bible where God has used them mightily. They wanted to know God in a deeper way because they understood the power of knowing God in a deeper way. Why should we know God deeper? So that God will work in our hearts in a deeper way in return. So 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, Paul says that because of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So what then are the deep things of God for us? Christ is the embodiment or personification of the deep things of God. Christ is now God's wisdom, righteousness, God's sanctification and redemption. So when we know Christ, we are knowing the deep things of God. And here are five points just to elaborate on this point that how we will be blessed when we know the deeper things in Christ. Number one, knowing the deeper ways of Jesus gives me a deeper understanding of the horrors of sin. So much so that I would want to flee instead of foolishly thinking that I can manage sin. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 says, Get rid of whatever gets hold of you and run a race to finish it. First Peter 5, 8, we know that Satan 
is like a roaring lion and discretion is a better part of valor we don't want to combat uh, satan we don't want to combat sin nature we just want to flee and we get a deeper understanding that sin is so much more powerful and damaging than we even think or you can imagine point two knowing the deeper ways of god and jesus gives me deeper trust in him proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding so that i can lose myself and find myself in you god the ground of rest the spring of my being in John chapter 4, verse 11, the women at the well said to Christ, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Well, the living water that is Christ is deeper than the deepest of wells, but then he is so close to us. He is available to us, and we can know him. And knowing the deeper ways, point three, is is when we know uh, the deeper ways of jesus it will give us the power to know the knowledge of jesus it will give us a deeper understanding of jesus in, himself as a savior as a master as a lord and king christ is the power and wisdom of god first corinthians chapter 1 verse 24 daniel 2 verse 22 says he reveals deep and hidden things he knows what is in the the darkness and the light dwells with him first corinthians chapter 2 verse 2 paul says do, paul does not want to know anything else but christ and him crucified as he alone is the object and subject matter of the deep things of god christ alone is the uh, object and subject matter of the deep things of god so paul is urging not to to run after the mystical knowledge and wisdom of this earth uh, when we have the deep things of God in Christ. Point four, knowing the deeper ways of Jesus will give us the deeper power in private prayer because then we will know the sweetness of his word, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It will penetrate in every part of our body and it will change the intentions of our heart. His word will penetrate every part and so that it will take the truth will take a grip in us. Point five, knowing the deeper ways of Jesus will give us deeper holiness. In speech, thought, action, we will not seek moral virtue apart from God. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 and 12 says, Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which we are called. To know Christ more deeply, is to let Jesus work in our hearts deeply. Let him plow deep in us so that the soil of our heart will be conducive to receive him, his will, his wisdom, his direction. Plow deep in me, O Lord, so that my being may be a tilled field. Let the root of grace spread so far and wide in me that you alone is seen in me and through me. Quarry me deep, O Lord, so that you can fill me with overflowing and living water. And so that I will have no master but you. I will follow no law but your will. I will take the maximum delight in nothing but yourself. I will have no wealth except that which you give. No goodness except that which you bless me with. No peace other than the peace which you bestow. I will... Be nothing but what you make me. Plow deep in me, O Lord. Amen.